before starting the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share with your friends and like the video. Thanks for your support, now let's go to the video. Mercedes-Benz has given its EQB electric-powered compact SUV. A mild mid-life makeover, upgrades include upgrades to the exterior styling and interior design, as well as changes to the vehicle's software to enhance the functionality of the MBUX system and to slightly improve the driving range. The 2024 Mercedes-Benz EQB, along with its hatch-like sibling, the EQA, which is not sold in the U.S., are the best-selling electric cars in Mercedes' lineup, accounting for half the company's total worldwide sales of battery-powered vehicles. The U.S., along with China, is the world's biggest market for the boxy and practical EQB, which is available in all trim levels with optional third-row seating. What is it? The Mercedes-Benz EQB is essentially a battery-powered version of the gasoline engine GLB. The smooth and powerful electric powertrain has transformed the somewhat unremarkable, by Mercedes standards GLB into a refined compact family hauler. What's new? The new stuff starts at the front end where the black panel grille now features a constellation of tiny three-pointed stars around a giant central star. The stars are raised from the shiny surface of the black panel to give texture and are finished in. Chrome in the AMG line trim level. And no, the new design has no negative impact on aerodynamic efficiency. According to product manager Felix Rothfelder, the chrome that frames the current model's black panel has gone, instead. The sparkly stuff is now featured on the lower bumper fascia. At the rear, the overall taillight graphic looks the same as that of the existing model, but closer inspection reveals chunky individual light units beneath the surface as with the front. The lower rear apron is also redesigned with new chrome trim elements. Running out the exterior changes is the availability of for new wheels one new 18-inch design to new 19-inch designs and a 20-inch wheel featuring the same basic layout as the existing 20-incher available in Europe but now with a fully black painted face inside a machined rim. Inside is the latest generation Mercedes steering wheel and a new center console without the hand rest and touch pad. That has long been a feature of Ben's interiors. The touch buttons on the new steering wheel, combined with standard voice activation and a standard 10-point to 5-inch central touchscreen, make the old system redundant, Rothfelder said. The starry theme of the refreshed 2024. Mercedes EQB's front end continues inside with a star pattern trim panel across the right-hand side of the dash. In AMG line models, the pattern is backlit by one of 10 standard interior ambient light colors available. For your selection, the revised EQB is also equipped with an updated version of MBUX. Smartphones can now connect wirelessly to the vehicle via Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, and an improved charging display allows you to open the charge flap with a touch of an icon on the screen. A new range monitoring function on the central display suggests options for saving energy if you need to chase maximum mileage. The driver can choose which individual options to use. It may be too hot to reduce the climate control system's output, for example, or hit a single central icon to activate them all. With the navigation operating, the system can also suggest a maximum driving speed, at which an additional charge stop can be avoided, and it shows that speed via a red line on the speedometer. Odds and Ends In terms of fundamentals, the revised 2024 Mercedes-Benz EQB range, which is expected to arrive in the U.S. next spring, 
will otherwise remain unchanged. The entry-level model will be the EQB250+, powered by a single 188 HP and 284 LBFT motor that drives the front wheels and is fed by a battery with a usable capacity of 70.5 kWh. The mid-spec model is the all-wheel drive EQB300 for Matic, with electric motors for the front and rear axles that develop totals of 225 horsepower and 288 pounds FT of torque, and are fed by a battery with a usable capacity of 66.5 kWh. The top of the range EQB350 for Matic has the same powertrain, but its total output is to 188 horsepower and 383 pounds FT of torque. Range testing is yet to be completed, but product manager Roth Felder said. The revised EQBS should also show a small improvement in range from the 260 miles estimated. For the EQB 250 plus and the EP aerated to 143 miles and 227 miles for the all-wheel drive EQB300 and EQB350 models, respectively. This will likely be accompanied by a small price increase, compared to the current base MSRPs of $52,750, $56,900, and $60,550. Mercedes will announce final pricing when the new EQB goes on sale in the US in the spring. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe and like.